The Abuja chapter of the Association of Resident Doctors, ARDFCTA, on Tuesday began an indefinite strike to press home their demands for timely, adequate payment of their salary, among other demands. The strike is coming at a very critical time when the federal government has just announced a third confirmed case of the coronavirus, COVID-19, in Lagos State. The Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA chapter of the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, comprising of doctors practicing in the 14 districts and general hospitals, Department of Public Health and Primary Health Care Development Boards, under the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA, excluded the consultant. In a statement, the association president, Ronald Agboivo, said that members were thrown into serious financial distress following the non-payment of salary when due. He said, our members were thrown into serious financial distress following the non-payment of our salary when due. We waited patiently after the end of 2019 and New Year celebrations to the third week of February, only for us to receive a paltry sum as January salary. And joining us this morning, we still have Dr. Benga Ogunlela in the studio. Thank you for staying with us, doctor. Thank you, it's a pleasure. Now, what's your reaction to the strike by, by, by the doctors? Uh, I'd like to say first and foremost that um, the doctors, yes, have a commitment to life. They also have responsibilities and commitments to their families. And um, their salaries are part of their remuneration, what they've worked for, what they're due. Now, it also serves as a motivation, apart from the fact that they have a call to the duty as a doctor. When these things are stalled, it will in some way affect their delivery of duties, or what we say affect their deliverables as it were. So it goes side by side. It's not, for lack of a better word, I wouldn't say it's intentional. But, but isn't it worrisome at, at the mm. time it's this, given the time we're in, yes. that doctors are embarking on a strike? Okay, I'll give you an example. Yes. But the doctor, first and foremost, is a human being, right? Has commitments, has, has certain obligations. If that doctor can't meet certain personal obligations, it may be very difficult or it may impair his or her delivery on the job. So it, it's not generally an intentional thing. However, there's a need for them, yes, to commit to the task at hand, which is dealing with the scourge. But then it still remains that what is, is and should be attended to. Show more light on what really the bone of contention is here. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's more from the fact that there's certain uh, uh, remunerations owed them that has not been paid. Uh, there has been a communication going by the... Um, excerpts of certain engagements they had had with the federal government with regards to salaries that were to be paid but have not been paid up until now. And that has moved the agitation within the system for them to take up this action. Um, as Eli exemplified, had given a certain period of waiting which they were not attended to and so they had to take this drastic measure as they were. It impacts on everyone. However, that is the rude reality of the day. All right. Now, let, let's, let's put a little bit on, on the, um, the third case of the confirmed third case of coronavirus. Some are saying that we're a bit laid back in Nigeria. There, 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 there isn't so much of any stiffer um, precautionary measures like the social distancing that has been conversed for by many countries of the world. Mm -hmm. How would you react to this? Uh, I'd like to say I think it's something that should be actually keyed into. Uh, the less we have people gathering in droves, uh, meeting in certain smaller communities as they were, uh, sorry, larger communities as they were, uh, helps us curb the scourge as they were and deal with the virus. Um, one, there's also the practice of being health conscious that needs to be more propagated. We still have a lot of filth around, a lot of unhealthy practices that would further enhance the spread of the virus and uh, enhance the contagious nature of the virus. Therefore, I would subscribe that more awareness and more uh, subscribing of people to distancing themselves from gatherings that bring people together. Yes. Of course, some are needful, must be done, but on that basis should be limited though. Now, is that something to be said or for not gloating over the relatively um, low case of detected coronavirus in the country? I mean, given this third reported case, I mean, um, they came in um, undetected until they went and, and so on and themselves. Now, what, what are we not doing right here? Okay, uh, I think one of the first things is, like we said, um, information gathering is key. Okay. Uh, there's a need to actually have very strategic pinpointed measures in detecting people in terms of entry and exit, which uh, boils down to data gathering. Okay. Uh, data plays a lot of information. If data is well gathered, analyzed and monitored, we're able to actually say where 
when this person came, when the person came, how the person came, and then, okay, what's the transit time the person is spending in a certain place, and then be able to track if we have actually detailed information on these people, which boils down to proper information gathering and then actions or steps taken on them. We can actually do that. Then lastly, I think we need to be more, uh, employ more scrutiny in terms of uh, having people that flow through our gates of point of entry. How, how, how sufficiently is it to ask the people about this flight to actually self-isolate quarantine themselves? Do, do you see this as an effective um, preventive measure? Okay, now one of the things I'd like to say is this. Um, it's an advice. Okay. It means it may be taken, it may not be taken. Now, um, except people see the gravity of the need to isolate, they may not. And the truth is, you could be learned, you could be informed, but you may not know the import of your not taking an action as regards self isolation. Now, in as much as it's left to the individual to do, that for me is a bit dicey. Because even when there are information that pertain to people's lives, they still don't adhere. What's the guarantee that they would adhere to No, this? but even worrisome for me is that there's some people who have tested positive to this virus yes. without any symptom. So we could have a, a mere large number of people, people walking around exactly who street. are positive Very without true. any symptom. Very so the, 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 the issue of self-isolating, self-quarantining, yes. is it really effective to, to, to cop the, the spread that, of this virus? That is, still remains a challenge. Uh, Self-isolation is one. However, detection is another, right. which is key. Right. Dr. Benga Ogunela, thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour for your contributions also. Thank you.